to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake The whole night trucker station came to an end But behold a new savior stepped right in Thank God for the satellite and radio For good trucking music there's a place to go Bill Mack and Cindy and Dave Nemo Thank God for Good morning, good morning guys We're having a cup of coffee We're getting ready to leave here at the Loves. I pulled into the fuel island up here. So that way I keep the, uh, clean my windshield. I got a lot of bugs up uh, on my windshield area from driving yesterday. And I figured out. I'll just go ahead and clean them bugs off the windshield so you guys don't see them all in the video shots, you know. At least for a little while anyways until we, uh, I guess, get back on the road and uh, start hitting a lot of more bugs again, you know. Yeah. Looks like a lot of drivers are leaving early today. That's what it looks like. This parking lot was full uh, after it getting dark a little bit there last night. After it got dark, it filled up real quick. And now this morning when I got up, well, mind you, I did have more than 10 hours off too, you know. But when I got up, a lot of guys are gone already. Yeah, so here we go. Let's get back onto that highway over there and then... Uh, Make our way to our reload in uh, Baytown, Texas, I think they call it, which is on the east side of uh, Houston. We got 254 miles to go up to there. So we got a good ways to go. GPS says we should be there around 1130. 77 North. 77 North. All right. No, we don't want to turn here just yet, right? We want to wait till the next stop line. <laughs> yeah. So, let's make our way over there and then we'll uh, show you whatever we can from here to there. Alrighty, guys, we've been cruising for uh, probably about three and three quarter hours already. And what you see up ahead there on the big screen out of my window is what I see out of my window. And that is Houston, Texas. Yeah, welcome to Houston, Texas, everybody. We are officially in Houston on nice big highway. One, two, three, four, five, six lanes and one direction. Yeah, well, that's a big highway. Can you imagine going through here in rush hour? It'd be crazy, wouldn't it? <laughs> And I have done that. It takes you a good little while to get through here. But we are coming in here right now. It's uh, 10.32 Central Standard Time. And we are just cruising right along. We have pretty much no traffic at all. We got vehicles on the road here as you guys can see. But we're just cruising. We're just giving her. Now we got about... Yeah... Probably a little less than half an hour and we'll be at our uh, pickup place if nothing goes wrong. And we should be there and uh, hopefully they will be happy to see us. And they will load us immediately. And then we'll be on our married way over to Mississauga, Ontario. Yeah. This is just crazy how many lanes they got up here, that's for sure. But Anyways, I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of Houston. Continue on this Look at that, we got a lot of overpasses up here again. Just going to leave the camera rolling here for a few more minutes and you get to see all these overpasses. I know some of you that are from other countries might never have seen this. You might be new to my channel. You know, there will be uh, some scenery for you. But anyways, we'll be right back, y'all. Well, guys, we are just about to hit our pickup place. We are two miles away. Yeah, all the way on the east side of Houston, Texas. Well, I think it's called Bayton. I think 
in Baytown, Texas or something like that up here. We're going to take this next exit up here. Take that service road. It should be right on our right hand side. That's what the, it looked like on uh, on Google there earlier when I looked at it this morning. That's what it looks like. We got a truck here on the shoulder. It's uh, another truck here so I can't really move over. I always like to move over when there is a truck or something like that parked on the side there, you know. When you can't, you can't. Just like to slow her down a little bit then. But yeah, so we, uh, I guess we will find out here pretty soon if we can uh, get loaded or not. Yeah, this is the exit we gotta take up here. In a quarter mile, take Great Road. I don't ever remember being down here before. I don't think I have ever loaded up here before. I can't think of it anyways. Does it look familiar? Well, we'll find out. We'll find out in a minute or two. So we'll see you all a little bit later. We are at a dock. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. But if you look over there, I am actually disconnected from the trailer and just waiting here to get loaded. They told me if I want to stay in the truck, I got to disconnect my tractor and move forward. So I'm not hooked up to the trailer. And I said, well, how long is it going to be before you start loading me? And they said about an hour probably. So I said, all right. Then uh, that's enough time for me to go ahead and voila, cook me some uh, chicken breast there. Look at that. We got some chicken breast in there. I said, well, I'll go cook me some chicken breast for a lunch since I haven't had anything to eat today. So I will cook me a couple of chicken breasts and have me a good bite to eat. A cheaper too, and that way once they're loaded, I can just go out of here. I don't have to wait for nothing. I can just put her in gear and go. I have had my half an hour off. I'm not connected even to the trailer, so I can legally have my half an hour off. I'm making me some food, so I'm not on duty, so we are good to go. But uh, I gotta have my AP unit running with the AC on because it's hot down here. It's like 28 degrees again today, so yeah. But that's alright, we will enjoy it. We ain't gonna complain about it because we have AC, so as long as we have AC, we're good to go, right? Anyways, I gotta turn my chicken breast there, so we'll be right back. I have just gotten loaded, and guess what? Either just the down the road from right here, there's a flying the jet. So we're gonna scale the load, make sure that we are legal. Yes, that is the plan anyways. I want to know that I am legal before I get on the big roads. Well, it sort of says that the left hand turn is closed or something up here, but I gotta go in here. Yeah, I gotta scale the slope. That's right. I have to scale. There's a cat scale right there. So, we're gonna go on the scale and scale the slope. I wanna know how heavy I am. It says 44,000 in the box, so, uh, well, I need to know for sure. That's right. So, here we go. Let's scale this bad boy. That's right about there. I just entered Louisiana. Yeah, we are all loaded, ready to go. Yeah, look at that. Welcome to Louisiana. Yeah, keep Louisiana beautiful. Well, it is beautiful in Louisiana. It certainly is. It's just a little bit on the warm side today, but hey, I am sitting behind the AC. But we ain't gonna complain about it. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful. Our load was legal. We didn't have to slide no axles, nothing like that. We were 33,660 pounds, I think it was, on the trailer. 
32,000 pounds on the uh, drives and 11 something there on the steer. So we are good to go. Yeah, supposedly there's a scale up here somewhere, but I don't see no sign for no scale yet. Oh, I guess here it is. Oh no, this was a rest area, so it must be a little further down the road. Because I saw the sensors just above us there, so I guess we'll see if they're open or not. Oh, they even got these lights here where they can tell you if you're supposed to come in or not. And no light there. So I don't know if they're going to be open or not just yet. I guess we shall see in a few. Because they should have a sign here in the next little bit because I'm... Um, Seeing that on the GPS right now, it's just down the road where that scale is, and I don't see nothing. Well, it looks like they got everything blocked off there, so that's probably why. Look at that, they got that under construction or something. They got these uh, blockades right up here saying, Ram closed. So they don't even want to know, talk to us today. Well, that's just great. Fantastic. That's right. Just give her there, buddy. Just give her. Don't worry about it. Just put the hammer down, boy. <laughs> yeah, he's just giving her that flat back there. He's in a hurry. Oh, well. That's all right. We will get somewhere, too, with our speed. And we will be getting there safely, hopefully. That's always my plan, anyways. Keep my fingers crossed. Yeah, but I am really happy that we got our load on. We got the load on uh, even before our appointment was. Our appointment was for three o'clock this afternoon, and we got there. Yeah, we got there about quarter after eleven, and by quarter after two, we was out of there. So they actually loaded us before our appointment was. They told me that was going to be probably an hour, an hour and a half before they get to me, and they were right. About an hour and a half or so later, they started loading me. It takes a little while to load, you know. So now we are happy, happy, happy campers. We're on our way to Mississauga, Ontario. You see it at the truck shows, out there on the open road, even in the driveway at his house. Johnny keeps it spit shine, shining on it all the time. He wants it looking good when he goes out. Why do people laugh at him and shake their head when he pulls in the parking lot? He's just another trucker man, trying his best to fit right in, but fit or not. He drives a roll purple Peterbilt, and he don't care how people feel about it. Cause that old purple Peterbilt looks so good it makes him feel so proud of it Some drivers call him sissy man but he don't let it get to him he'll shout it He drives a old purple Peterbilt and he don't care how people feel about it Yeah Could have a green one, although he's never seen one that looks as good as what he's got right now. Black might look more manly, or red like Christmas candy might help his clearance lights and chrome stand out. Then maybe that would be enough to end the jokes about his truck from all his friends. But he'll live with the teasing, cause he ain't out for pleasing no one but him. He drives a roll purple Peterbilt and he don't care how people feel about it. Cause that roll purple Peterbilt looks so good it makes him feel so proud of it. Some drivers call him sissy man but he don't let it get to him he'll shout it. He drives a roll purple Peterbilt and he don't care how people feel about it. You know, there's a lot of truck drivers out there on the road. And just like Johnny, a purple truck is their second home. And they'll be the first to tell you, son, 
You better leave old Johnny alone He drives a royal purple Peterbilt And he don't care how people feel about it Cause that royal purple Peterbilt Looks so good it makes them feel so proud of it Some drivers call him sissy man But he don't let it get to him He'll shout it He drives a royal purple Peterbilt And he don't care how people feel about it yeah, he drives a royal purple Peterbilt And he don't care how people feel about it Alrighty guys, I am finished for today It's been, uh, I guess, a good day I could say I got some decent miles in oh, I just gotta crack my back there for a little bit <clears throat> I wanted to show you guys there is not that much room to uh, park in here. Look at that. I had two good gentlemen helping me back into the spot. And yes, I do need help with backing into spots sometimes. Especially if it's this tight in here. I definitely need some help. Because it is hard when it's already completely dark. And you've been working all day long and then trying back into a tight spot like this, you know. That is not an easy job, I'm going to tell you right now. It doesn't matter how many years of experience you have. After a long day's worth of work and it's dark, backing into a tight spot like this is never easy. I guarantee you that, my friends it is not easy but we did go in there and it's a pilot truck stop and we went inside and had ourselves a fantastic shower you know shaved up we're feeling pretty good now but now it's pretty much time to go to bed and then continue on tomorrow we got a very long way to get to Mississauga yet yeah, we're going to have to do probably about 620, 630 miles tomorrow, minimum probably, in order to uh, to get to uh, Mississauga, Mississauga on Friday night, if we can even do it. I know I have just about enough hours to get to Mississauga. We will see how it goes and hopefully it's uh, going to continue the way it has. It's been going pretty good actually so far. I've been able to uh, cruise along pretty good. I haven't had too much traffic at all uh, along the highway so uh, I'm good with that department. Yeah. But I'm going to call her quits right now and we'll go up there and go we'll take a good sleep. But one thing is for sure up here you need AC, air conditioning in order to sleep. That is for sure. Yeah. Anyways, it was a good day. Appreciate all of you guys checking uh, out my today's video. And if you watch it all the way to the end, yeah, thank you. We appreciate that very much. And if you would be so kind as to hit the thumbs up share the video and if you are new to our channel we would love that if you would share the video hit that thumbs up and don't forget to give me that subscribe button hit that subscribe button because that's going to help me out tremendously yeah and what you get in the return sometimes we do give away yeah sometimes we do give away some t-shirts i done a hat giveaway I'm sure in, in the near future we will probably uh, do another t-shirt giveaway. So uh, that's my way of uh, giving back to you guys. Yeah, yeah maybe as my channel grows uh, we come up with some new ideas. Maybe I'm working with a website sort of like right now. They got coffee mugs, they got business cards, they got sweatshirts, they, they got all kinds of stuff, you know. They got coffee mugs, uh, I think they got like pens and I can have my logo on it and everything like that. So, 
Yeah, we might be doing some more giveaways here sometimes down the road so stick around and if you watch every day you will not miss it with that being said have a good night everybody and be sure to stick around for tomorrow